stay away. Leave me alone. I said get back. All of you. The costume. Yes. The costume denied me. <laughs> Little insignificant children, you'll never understand what it feels like to be on the mortal plane, to feel, to breathe. You'll never knock me down, for I am one of you. And I always come back. <laughs> what? Ceiling? No. No. I have to go. I Hey, I'm a lot of popcorn. Dang it. Guys, we, we finally did it. We finally killed Afton. After, how long did this take? Eh, about a decade, give or take. And he'll never come back. Nope, never again. Despite that thing he said before he died, you know, they'll always come back, then you know, they're never gonna come back. Well, what do we do now? These poor children. They've lost their bodies. Everything taken away from them again. And only I remain. I mean, we could move on to the great beyond and all. We could, but am I really ready? I don't know, I just don't think I'm ready to see what's on the other side yet. What do you suggest we do? Mope around this room for three decades? That's an oddly specific amount of time, but uh, I mean... I don't know. I know he's a pile of ketchup at this point, but, uh... Something tells me this Afton guy might not be dead. If we miraculously somehow survived being springlocked, can't imagine he wouldn't either. So then what are we supposed to do? Maybe... Maybe we could create a safe place. A sanctuary, of sorts. For all of us to thrive. At least until we get things figured out. I mean, sure, but... What would that be? Perhaps it's whatever our hearts decide it would be. I think if we really put our minds together. For these kids. We can make something special. Alright. Just think where my heart is. That's the spirit, Charlie. Yeah. David? Howard? Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I second that. <sighs> what a good morning. Hi, Dad. Charlie, how's my little angel? Doing well, <laughs> thanks. So what are we going to do today? Well, I've got a little meeting with a business partner, uh, someone who's uh, willing to make an offer to me. However, I invited the neighbors over, and you three can play. Oh, uh, okay. They should be here any minute. Or whenever the plot calls for it. Ooh, I think there they are now. Hey, neighbor. How's it going? Good, it's going great. How are the two of you? Eh, it's a beautiful day out, so you know. Good. Come inside, Charlie's waiting for you. All right. All right, well, you three just kind of chill out here. I'm gonna go wait for my partner to show up. Well, everything seems to be going well so far. Yeah, it's been a few days. Kind of weird having my dad here again. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Besides, he's earned some peace. He's been through a lot. Yeah, I'm shocked we were able to pull him in here, but... Eh, also that ends well. Yeah. 
Those kids, they're kind of everywhere, but that's fine, you know? They're enjoying life, I imagine. Yeah. <sighs> so, what's your, this whole thing with your dad? Uh, he mentioned something about meeting a business partner? I have no idea. I don't know anyone that could be here. At least someone that would offer him something like that. Hmm. Maybe it's someone new. I mean, we did create a lot of civilians that don't really exist. True, it could be anybody. Ooh, I think it's him now! Charlie, could you look at the door for me? Uh, okay, Dad. I'll be right back, guys. Hmm. Everyone we put here, except for me, you, and her. They're all unknowing and unaware. I just hope it lasts for a while. Hi, sir. Are you looking for my... Dad? Ah, hello there, young one. It's good to see you. You must be... Oh, what was your name? Charlie? Yes. Oh, that's a very, very nice name. Well, I'm here to make a business offer with your father. Where is he? Um, he's in the kitchen. Good, good, very good. Why do you look so startled, young child? I know I can be a little intimidating to most people, but I promise you, there's nothing wrong with me. Or perhaps you're just shy. I was shy at one point, too. Meeting new people can be pretty scary. Perhaps we're off on the wrong foot. My name is William, and it's so nice to finally meet you. Well, I must get going now. Oh no. What's taking her so long? I don't know, maybe he's introduced himself. Hello chums, I don't have much time to talk, but uh, my name's William, and the two of you? I'm, I'm David. And I'm Howard. Ah, nice to meet you. Anyways, let me go to Henry. No, 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 what is he doing here? Guys, it's only been days and there's already a problem. How did, how did William end up here? I don't know. I didn't think it was possible. We gotta see if he's up to something. If the three of us can remember, maybe he can too. But we erased the memories of everyone we brought in here. There's no way he remembers us. How do you explain how he's even here in the first place? I mean, we were a little hasty. Perhaps he got brought in with everyone else? Just on accident? Okay, it's fine. Whatever business partnership they're making, it can't go like last time. Right? Ah, William! It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Henry. It's great to see you. You know, contacting you was pretty tough. Ah, you know, I'm just around. Your ad in the paper was intriguing. Finding people to start a brand new business. Some kind of entertainment facility? Yes. You know, I just, I've always had a knack for creation and all. I wanted to put those skills to good use. Entertain the people of this town. Fazbear Hills deserves a lot more than just, you know, being an average slow town. I think especially the kids would find enjoyment in that kind of thing. <clears throat> yes. An entertainment facility for families targeted towards children. I like that idea a lot. Well, I have a fancy in robotics, you see. I think I could help you. Perhaps some animatronic entertainment characters would be in order. Hmm. Interesting. It sounds very interesting. Man, this is coming together like a puzzle. Almost like this was meant to be. Ha 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 I think it's just as we feared. How the hell is this happening? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What are we gonna do? I mean, he... He seems nice enough. Charlie, this is literally going almost beat by beat. If things go the ways they did before, he's just gonna end up killing people again. We'll be stuck in the same stupid cycle, and there will have been no point. Well, then why don't we just kill him? What? It wouldn't be that hard. The three of us could do it. It's just, it's so much easier. Let's just get it over with before something bad happens. I mean, we did create this world. It's not far-fetched. Maybe we should get him sometime at night. You know, when it's dark. Henry won't even remember it. We could just wipe his memory of him again. Shouldn't be that hard. Probably our powers combined. Charlie could seal him away. It could work. Guys. What? What is it? Yeah, Charlie? Hey. I think we should give him another chance. What? Are you crazy? Charlie, you seemed so freaked out earlier. How are you turning around this quick? I just... There's good in everyone, right? Somewhere, deep down, it's ludicrous to say William's pure evil. William was a good man. He had three kids, a loving wife, 
a great relationship with his business partner. It's just, if he didn't have to bear the burdens that he did, losing Evan, I just, I feel like things would have been different. I guess it's possible. Guys, I'm serious. This is a slippery slope. But Howard, he can do so much more. I haven't seen my father like this since forever. He just seems so happy. This friendship, it had a base, a foundation. It worked for a reason. And if the reasons it rotted away were stripped, I think it could work. <sighs> All right, I'm in. We should give William another chance. Well, it's two against one, but don't make me say I told you so. Thanks, guys. Hello, you three. <laughs> Hi, William. Good evening, Howard. So, Charlie, your father and I have come to a decision. Whoa, William, slow down. At least let me tell the news to my own daughter. All right, all right, I'll leave it be. Charlie, we're starting a brand new restaurant with entertainers. Man Pizza, our favorite. Oh, wow, that sounds great, Dad. Yeah, congrats, guys. I'd like to see it when it all comes together. Thank you, David, thank you. <sighs> but what should we call it? Yeah, it's hard to come up with a name these days. What were the entertainers uh, you guys were gonna make look like? Uh, we figured we would go with a bear and a rabbit, uh, kind of like us. Spitting images, really. Bringing out our best sides. I like the way this guy thinks. Um, maybe red bears? Something like that? You know, I like it. Yeah. Combining both my middle name and the animal I am. Interesting. Smooth, catchy, personal tie to the founder. Good job, kid. He'll make us pay royalties. <laughs> Shucks. Well, why don't we get started tomorrow? We can put it right here in this house. Are you sure? Take all less effort than leasing out the building. This place is huge. I don't need all this space. Eh, fair enough. You good with that, kiddo? Uh, yeah. All right, come on, William. Let's go get started. Whoa! <sighs> wow, Charlie. Real original name. What? I like keeping it simple. I'm telling you, Charlie, this is a slippery slope. Oh, shut it. It'll be fine. I know it will. I think he's almost done. Oh, let me see. I've been ordering a lot of party supplies. <gasps> oh my god, he's perfect! Oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I tried my best. Oh man, Will, you did a fantastic job. Shucks, Henry, you're making me blush. Well, let's go find a battery and hook him up then. Right. Uh, there should be one somewhere around here. Yeah, I probably got one in my shed. Why can't I remember anything? Ugh. All right, got the bet, huh? Ugh. <laughs> Who are you? William, I want to come take a look at this. Hmm? What's going on? What the? Uh, who are you guys? Oh my god. How? Are you playing some kind of practical joke on me? Did you hook a battery up to him? I didn't. He, he's just alive. Are you guys my dads? I, I, I mean, technically, I, I guess. Uh, this is crazy. Well, uh, son, you got an eye for entertainment? Ooh, uh, yeah, I like making people happy. Well, great, I got a good place for you to start. Henry, should we be so, you know, nose diving into this? This is crazy. We're discovering life. It's not possible. I don't know, let's take this optimistically. This is a miracle, really. Yeah, I, I guess it is. You know, kid, for some reason I... I feel like I recognize you. Huh? Well, I don't really remember much, but I haven't seen you before in my life. Well, you were just born, so that does make sense. Hmm. Well, get started soon. Yes, I'll get to work on Spring Bonnie tomorrow. I'm gonna go home for the night. You okay watching the lad? Yeah, I think I can handle him. I got one kid. Right. Good night, Henry. Night, Will. So, son, how'd you like to meet your big sister? Ooh, a sister? I have a sister? Correct, indeed. Let me go get her. Oh, boy. What is it, Dad? It's like 2 a.m. Charlie, you gotta see this. We made life. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Pope's great dad. I'm serious! He just sprung up! It's like friggin' Pinocchio! Like the blue fairy just showed up and brought him to life! Huh? Oh, hey! Hi! Uh, I've been told you're my big sister. What's your name? Oh, I'm Charlie. And what about you? Well, I don't really have a name. I don't think so. Um... Huh. What do we call him, Dad? Good question. I was thinking Fredbear, but... That feels a little wrong, you know? I want to give him something more personal. Fredbear should be nothing more than a stage name. But what would a good real name be? I don't know. What about... What about Sammy? Sammy? Hmm. I like that name. Hey there, Sammy. Uh, guess that's your name now, if you're okay with being called that. Ooh, uh, I like it. Sammy rolls off the tongue, just like Charlie. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Oh, this is great. Look at us, one happy family. <laughs> yeah. Happy family. <laughs> okay, let's go to bed. It's like three in the morning. Yeah, I'm I'm still really tired. Oh, guys, I just woke up. <sighs> you know what? I can take a five-hour energy. What do you want for breakfast, bud? Think for yourself. I'm going back to bed. Can I get chocolate chip pancakes? Well, I'm definitely gonna need to learn to start cooking. So why not? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Yay!